I'm Mark Nejma. I'm from Newsweed.com. And I wanted to say happy July 6th. Somehow the 1st through the 5th disappeared from us, but we're here to give you the news today. So sorry for the delay. Today, Dr. Fauci said that many areas in the United States can expect to see new surges in COVID cases thanks to a lagging vaccination rates and increases in cases of more transmissible and deadly Delta variant. In areas of the Southeast and Midwest, where few people or much less people have actually been vaccinated, that's where the cases are likely to spike. Um, we have a big country with disparity and in the willingness to be vaccinated, in willingness to be vaccinated, Fauci said, while 67% of adults in the United States have received vaccination, there are some states where the level of vaccination of individuals is only 35%. Currently, the states with the lowest vaccination rates include Mississippi, Alabama, Wyoming, Arkansas, and I believe Missouri. That's not good for those states. You might get some funding cut unless you get your arm stuck with that vaccination. Let's move on to other news. Space company Satellogic, backed by Cantor Fitzgerald, Tencent, and SoftBank, will be going public via a SPAC. Now, SPACs have been out of favor, but apparently this company feels they're good enough to attract enough attention to gain capital. This company does satellite imagery uh, and is preparing to go public, announcing plans to merge with a SPAC sponsored by Cantor Fitzgerald. We're going to grow the satellite constellation by 2025 with 300 satellites to get daily rap remaps of the entire planet. SoftBank and Cantor Fitzgerald led in an, a 100 million pipe investment round alongside the merger and Satellogic's previous investors include Chinese behemoth Tencent. The deal gives the space company a 1.1 billion equity valuation and is expected to close early in the fourth quarter. What makes this interesting is the combination of Chinese money and American money. Although we want peace in the world, I believe we had a situation where even the cameras that were made by China were supposedly spying on us. So now we're going to go up in space with them with satellites. That should be an interesting deal. We're still looking for the rioters, or the United States government is still looking for the rioters uh, loyal to President Donald Trump outside the U.S. Capitol on January 16th, excuse me, January 6th, 2021 in Washington. Even at the first of the five of more than 500 federal capital riot, defendants have begun to plead guilty. Scores of suspects remain unidentified, reflecting the massive scale of Justice Department's attempts. Hmm. Speaking of the government as a bear, a grizzly bear has attacked campers in western Montana. A grizzly bear attacked and killed a person camping in western Montana early Tuesday, triggering an intensive search for the Bruin by wildlife officials and law enforcement officers who plan to kill the animal. Goodbye, bear. Down in Florida, where I live, St. Petersburg, National Hurricane Center says Tropical Storm Elsa is strengthening and could become a hurricane before making landfall along Florida's northern Gulf Coast. The storm has already complicated the search for survivors in, this, uh, in the collapse of a Miami area condominium 12 years ago. In addition to the damaging woods and heavy rains, that Miami-based U.S. National Hurricane Center warned of life-threatening storm surges, flooding, and isolated tornadoes. I do believe Miami is on the other side, but we'll have to see what this storm does to the uh, people that, or at least the remains that are trapped. Very sad story down there in Miami, but the recovery certainly does seem to be going government slow. Over in Israel, something we should pay attention to since there's so many problems in Lebanon and Syria currently, one of Nat Netanyahu's ally allies from the Likud political party named David Baitan was indicted for corruption. 
Many Israelis speak about how corrupt Netanyahu is. So now I think they're taking the same approach that American lawmakers have taken, going after Donald Trump's friends by going after Netanyahu's friends. Let's see how this sticks. Netanyahu is a very powerful man. Sadly, an old Russian plane went down and killed some people. A decades-old passenger plane carrying 28 people crashed in Russia far east on Tuesday, leaving everyone on board, including at least one child, feared dead. The plane was en route from regional capital Petropavlovsky, Kamatsky to Polana, a town in northwestern Kamchatka, when it lost contact with air traffic control shortly after 3 p.m. Very sad. And another plane went down in the Philippines. Philippine troops found the last five people by the crash of a transport aircraft in the south, raising the death toll to 50 in military's worst air disaster, officials said on Monday. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules was carrying 96 mostly combat troops when it overshot the runway while landing on Sunday at the Jolo Airport in Sulu Province, military officials said. It slammed into a coconut grove beyond the airport and burst into flames in a new time disaster witnessed by horrified soldiers and villagers. That is terrible. On the not so funny news, with all the Black Lives Matter issues that are going on in the country and people feeling divided, a knucklehead white man who called neighbors multiple racist slurs and claimed he forced other black residents to move, has charged with harassment and disorderly contact, according to local police. What is wrong with you, man? It's hard enough for everybody to get along. Why are you saying these stupid things? I didn't even hear the people that came in front of your building call you fat. But you certainly are. Anyway, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't call you fat. A warrant dated Monday and other charging documents show at least two neighbors called police to report Edward C. Matthews. Do you, is that what you want your name out there in the news? Edward C. Matthews. It's on video. Come on, man. 45 years old. Was caught harassing people in a Mount Laurel neighborhood. A black woman in the neighborhood called police on Friday saying Matthews was harassing her, approaching her front door and shouting racial slurs, according to the prosecutors. She had previously told police she suspected Matthews of criminal mischief involving her car so apparently she accused him of doing something to his car he got all angry goes over there starts calling people racial slurs then he gets a group of people that come to his house last night they break a window maybe by accident maybe on purpose whatever the thing got out of control but listen white people don't say anything that's racial the world is against you right now because we have a Black Lives Movement, which is, you know, really strong. So you can't even joke around. Say the right thing, please. We don't need any riots. And we don't need people to be disrespected. Did you do the car? Did you break into the car or not, Matthews? I'd like to know. Anyway. Um, police will be investigating if pro protesters who threw objects toward officers and Matthews as they arrested committed any crimes. All right, so it's balanced, we hope. Lotus, a car manufacturer, is coming out with a new internal combustion car. It's only going to sell for 85000 Fast car, runs on gasoline until they outlaw, outlaw gasoline, which might be soon, or it just becomes overpriced. I hear gasoline is $6 in California. I always said it would get up to be that price. That's the only way they're going to stop us from using it. Oh, our beloved president, President Joe Biden, is mad as can be. Another hack has happened, and he blames Russia. But he basically said to Russia, ah, no big deal, a bunch of small businesses. I'm not really that concerned over it. And that's your news for today, July the 6th. Just remember... It's never as it seems. Good night.